Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get LoudMax into your computer. Um, this is often used for the Twisted Wave for audiobooks class at the Screen Actors Guild Don LaFontaine VoiceOver Lab. Uh, before we begin the class, it's best if you install the software on your computer. Um, it can be a little difficult, so I wanted to take you through a video tutorial quick so you could see how to do this. First, what we need to do is go to the browser. I have Chrome, but you can use any one you want. Um, and we will be going to Loud max.blogspot.com, I believe, l-o-u-d-m-a-x.blogspot.com. The page looks like this. This is the LoudMax plugin. What you're going to do is go down to the links below. Um, because you're taking a Twisted Wave for Audiobooks course, I assume you're on a Macintosh, so we are going to download the AU and VST plugin here. I'm going to click on this link. and I will go to the download button at the top of the page. Direct download. Once that's downloaded, you'll need to figure out where that is. I'm going to go ahead and close my browser. I believe my downloads go to my downloads folder. I'm going to double click to open up the zip file which will yield a folder. And in that folder, I have two components, a loudmax.component and a loudmax.vst. These two things need to go into your internal operating system so that the program Twisted Wave can use them when it's ready. You can't double-click these files directly to open them as they're not programs. This is the complicated part. You have to put these into the internal library system of your computer so the Twisted Wave, once open, will recognize them. And the way to do that is to get into the internal parts to go up to Go, um, to get to this menu option up here, you need to be on a finder window, meaning you need to have clicked either on your dock, on the smiley face, on your desktop, or on a finder window, so that finder is shown up above in your menu bar. And then you need to go to go, and then all the way down to go to folder. Before I do this, though, I'm actually going to open another finder window by going file, new finder window. I have two of these, one with my download LadMax and LadMax VST, uh, sorry, component and VST, and then the second one is an empty finder window. It's on this window that I'm going to use the go, go to folder. A path bar shows up, and what I want you to do is put a forward slash, which is on the right of your keyboard, and then capital L library, and I'd like you to hit enter, or go. Forward slash capital L library. Once you're in your library, and you can get to this view by looking at the list view of your Mac by clicking here. We're going to go to Audio, Plugins, and then we have a Components folder and a VST folder, and this is actually where we're going to drag these two things in. So I'm going to take the component and drag it into the Components folder, and it's going to ask me to authenticate with my password. Um, I've already done this, so it's, I'm just going to replace it. Um, and then I'm going to drag the VST, and I believe there might be, yep, okay. I'm going to drag the VST into the VST folder and authenticate. This is your Mac password. If you have a VST3, you can just download it, uh, or sorry, save it over to the VST folder. Once that's done, this folder should be empty. You could go ahead and close this. Um, Twisted Wave will need to be fully quit, meaning that there's no dot below it in the dock, meaning you have completed um, completely quit the program. Um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click it to open it back up. Um, I will skip this version for now. Um, I will create a new session. Um, and just to verify, you can go up to Effects and Audio Units in VST. Um, for some of you, we have found that the um, name Thomas Munt, who makes Loud Max, will show up immediately in this list. For some of you, this is not the case. You actually need to go into VST Effects, and then you'll see Loud Max there. Um, I've had you save the component file, which is this one, and the VST file here. They're the same component, but just in case you don't see one of these, the other one works. You should be able to open that up, and there's the plugin.